Everyone's healing. One with the sounds. Fury boils. Burn. My rage. Conception. Where did it go? That good though, I guess the please exits getting a bit too cold here. Can we head back now? Rover. I didn't feel comfortable down there. The air was heavy in that place, without any wind to speak of. But I could still feel so many emotions and desperate cries for help. I... I couldn't handle it. The villagers were a complex mix of emotions. Hope, resentment, and despair. And as I read the diary, I could feel the intense sorrow and longing of its owner. What was the diary's owner longing for? Was it the peaceful life she once had? Or did she miss her only family? The person who pushed her towards such a tragic end? My apologies. I got lost in thoughts again. I wish I could say such tragedies won't happen again. But I still lack the confidence to make that claim. It was tragedies like this that made me want to become an outrider. To become someone with the strength to stop them from ever happening again. I cannot stop the lament. But at least I should do everything in my power to help those affected by it. Really? Thank you, Rover. Dwelling on it won't do us any good. Let's go. I'll compile a report on what happened here and send it in along with the clues we've gathered. Yes, let's go back. Together.
Let's do this another way. They... they say you have claws. We heard you can tear those monsters into sh- Wanna take a look? <gasps> yes, please! Okay then, here you go. These candies can make up for not showing you my impressive claws. See? He's not scary at all. Thank you, Ling Yang. You're welcome. Do come by to see our lion dance show tomorrow. I will. You smell unfamiliar, yet so powerful and so pure. You must be that famous rover. Haya, I've heard a lot about you, and now I finally get to meet you in person. You can call me Ling Yang. Glad to make your acquaintance. Fare thee well, blessing swell. Hmm. So even you are scared of me, too. Anyway, welcome to the city of Jinjo. 
Our troupe is doing a big lion dancing show tomorrow evening, and I'm now doing some advertising. Yeah, the lion dance troupe. We do cool lion dancing shows for parades. Oh, and lion dancing is a traditional thing in Jinjo. We've got lots of activities in Jinjo. I can't wait to show you. Oh, oops. <laughs> uh, sorry. I guess I'm a bit hungry after rehearsing for a whole day. <gasps> Speaking of that, I should treat you to dinner. Let's talk over food. That'll be fun. Well, actually, yes, it is. Jinjo people love feeding our guests. It's our way of showing hospitality. Get ready to be blown away by the amazing flavors here. But right now, I still have some other things to finish. I've been getting a ton of requests for private lion dances lately, and some happen to overlap with our big show tomorrow. And you know how important lion dancing is to the folks here in Jinjo. Can't just turn them down. So, I had an idea. Why not combine all these personal requests into the grand performance? That way, everyone's happy. We can even customize the performances to cater to each client's needs. But first, gotta figure out exactly what our clients want. Rover, wanna come with me? We can go visit my clients on our way to grab food. I'll show you around and introduce you to our local customs firsthand. It'll be way cooler than just hearing about it from others. What do you say? Great! Let's go! Okay, let me think. My first client's nearby. You might have seen them before. Just cross the bridge, keep going, and we're there. The quality. Never mind. Fivefold blessings grace your door. Good luck and fortune evermore. Aw, the lucky greetings. You're from the lion dance troupe, I bet. Nice to meet you. Are you here for my grandpa's birthday party? I thought our 
reservation was tomorrow, did you maybe mix up the time? Uh, here's the thing. People from City Hall already booked a lion dance show on the same day for soldiers leaving on an expedition. I see. But maybe we can combine your celebrations with this existing show. My grandpa was a soldier too. He'd be so happy if you could do that for him. Nice. Just double checking again. It will be your grandfather's 60th birthday, right? Correct. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Then I'll do six spins in a row as part of the celebration, which symbolize the six decades your grandpa has lived through. Means I'll dance around our birthday star on the poles. It's a special birthday celebration dance. One spin for a decade past, health and vigor forever last. Thank you so much. I'm sure Grandpa will be happy to hear that. Done. Now, on to the next client. Blissful union, endless delight, love eternal in thee a light. Oh my, look who's here. Come here, Ling Yang. We're getting the wedding candies ready. Here's one for you, and this one here. Thank you for the candies. Actually, I'm here for that lion dance request you made. City Hall already booked a show for soldiers on the same day, so... Really? So you won't be able to perform for us? We were both born and raised in Huanglong, so we've been super looking forward to the lion dance officiant ceremony during our wedding. an interactive wedding ceremony. The bride and groom stand on either side of the lion dance performer. When the lion head opens its mouth, they put their hands inside and it bites down. It's called settlement. It symbolizes an unbreakable bond. I know this wedding means everything to you and I don't want you to have any regrets. Your love is rock solid and I can see that. The lion dance officiant ceremony would just be the cherry on top of your unbreakable bond. How about you two exchanging tokens when the lion head reaches the top during tomorrow's performance? It'll be a lively atmosphere with drums, gongs, and firecrackers bursting in celebration. Even though it's not exactly the thing you wanted, is it all right? Just one more client to go. He's at the place where we'll be eating our dinner. Ugh. My stomach's rumbling again. Can't wait for a big feast. <sighs> Here we are. This is the place. Hey, -a, mister. Lion peppers on the beam. May your profits always stream. Oh, hi. Isn't that the Lin Yang boy? What brought you here? My lion dance request? I heard you were getting a ton of requests. I hope you can still fit mine in. Look, I got the lion pepper and everything. Just waiting for you to put on the lion head and chow down at my store opening. Sir, there's something I need to tell you. Yeah, I heard. My thing conflicts with the performance you're doing for the soldiers, right? Will you have to cancel? Exactly. So I was thinking we could incorporate some lion pepper elements into the show to make up for it. 
Nah, no need to worry about my little shot, boyo. Just focus on your big performance. Oh, and you must be... <laughs> Looks like Lin Yang has made a new friend. Here, try this while you're here. A new snack I just came up with. Go on, Rover. Dinner's on me. Mr. Shun Chai is a great chef. To really get to know a city, start with the food. Yum, yum! Hey, sir, can we share this snack with the audience during our evening show? No snacks, no show. Let me do something for you. Anything to help... Oh, my. That'll be my great honor. But... What's the matter? Have you heard? There's a monster appeared in the wild recently. One they call the Jingle Beast. The Jingle Beast? Yeah, somehow the nickname sounds cute even. But you know what? It does all the terrible stuff you can think of. When hunting, it makes these jingling sounds. They say its tusks are over half a meter long and its claws shred prey with ease. That's not true. The jingle bit. It, it's uh, a. Fr wow! Actually, I need this one ingredient for my new snack. Do you have any other ways to. Re well, there's only one place left to get it, and it's run by this exile group called the Savages. Apparently, they're in cahoots with the jingle beast, and that's how they still have meat for sale. But it's crazy expensive. Five times the usual price. It's insane. I'm just a small shop. How am I supposed to afford that? So, I can't make a lot of these snacks for you to hand out yet. Me? Oh, I'm fine. It suddenly struck me that there was another request to deal with. I... I it should be right next to the tea house, not far away. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go. Sorry, Rover. I'll be back soon. Oh, that's typical Lin Yang. You'll get used to him soon. He's spontaneous, always doing whatever pops into his head in the moment. He just loves helping people. You'll often see him sprinting around the alleys, lending a hand wherever needed. He's quick and strong. Nothing seems to faze him. He's been such a blessing to us. We do feel bad when he injures himself accidentally, though. He brushes it off and tells us not to fret. But even though he says not to worry, we still do. Rover, can you go check on him? Whatever you order at my place will be on the house. Thank you. The tea house Ling Yang mentioned is in the residential area, just past the square. Keep walking.
Sorry, but I'm not the one you're looking for. I never made any lion dancing requests. Rover, what brought you here? It's not a big deal, really. Thanks for coming to check on me. I received a strange request from the Bay family. It didn't mention any specific requirements. Could it be your parents? No, it can't be. Now, if there's nothing else, please excuse me. Please, one moment. How did you know? The client who called me had a mature male voice. And since he said he's from the Bay family, there's only one other possibility. Bay Shi, has something happened to you? <sighs> I'm Ling Yang from the Lion Dance Troupe. This is Rover. You can trust us. It's about my brother, Bei Ji. It's been a week now and he still hasn't come back home. A week ago? That's when I received this request. 